Hi guys! Today you're going to learn about a famous American artist named Doris Emmerich Lee. Doris Lee was born in Aledo, Illinois on February 1, 1905. She attended a preparatory school for girls in Lake Forest, Illinois from 1920 to 1922 and later graduated from Rockford College in 1927. She was one of the most successful female artists of the Depression era and was well known for her figurative painting and printmaking. Figurative art represents people, places, and things just as they are in life. Lee's earliest major career achievement came in 1935 when she was awarded the Logan Prize at the Art Institute of Chicago for her painting titled Thanksgiving. The themes of Thanksgiving, rural customs, and family life, which Lee painted in a deliberately folksy manner, had great appeal to a country that was still in the midst of the Great Depression. The painting Thanksgiving has been recognized as one of the most popular, nostalgic views of this American ritual and was eventually acquired for the Art Institute's permanent collection. Let's look closely at Doris Lee's painting, which is actually quite small in size for a painting that includes so many wonderful details. In the kitchen, you see what it was like in many American homes in the early 1900s during this American holiday. The women and children are busy preparing for the big meal of the day. As you look at the painting, you can also get a sense of what people look like, what they wore, and how they might have lived. Can you find the woman taking off her hat, or the young boy in the blue sweater? How about the small twin babies that are sitting in a high chair, happily watching the scene unfold? Four women in aprons are busy preparing the holiday meal while one seems to be setting up the table in the next room. All this activity is taking place in the cheerful single room that Lee captured so beautifully. A small single bulb fixture hangs from the ceiling. A broom and metal bucket of wood rest against the wall while a dog hides under the warm wood-burning stove, probably hoping to get a piece of the tasty hot turkey being checked on by the woman with a spoon and towel in her hand. Lee even captures the moment a small girl reaches out while on her step stool to sneak a little piece of food to her cat friend. Today we're going to create our own room and utilize some of the same art techniques Doris Lee did to make her space in the painting look so realistic. All of the objects she included are carefully sized and placed to create the illusion of space, both up close and far away. But first, we are going to take all of the objects out of the painting so we can see how she began with just an empty room that includes three walls as well as part of the ceiling and floor. We're going to first start by making a door. And then on another wall, we're going to add a window. And then somewhere in the room, we're going to add something on the main floor. On the back wall, we'll add another doorway. And we might even include a fireplace or some other detail along that wall. After we go through some of these steps together, you'll have plenty of time to add your own details and ideas to your room. We may even take it a step further and use the iPads and green screen to put ourselves in our drawings. 